I just decided that I would um, do a quick face routine for you and I straightened my hair. Um, it's actually doing pretty well. My bangs grown a lot. Um, let me flip around. This is how far it is in the back. I don't know if you can see that. But it's grown a lot. Um, I dyed it, but I'm going to dye it again because my roots are growing out. I don't think you can see it from this view, but um, I'll take pictures or something later. So that's an update on my hair journey. Um, this is the eyeshadow I just did right now. Um, I'm probably going to do a tutorial on it tomorrow when I get back, but I'm going out tonight. So um, I've already put on my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. If Hold on. I just had it. Um, hmm. A little unorganized today, aren't I? Well, I put that on. And then I'm going to um, buff out with my... I'm going to set it with my mineralized skin finish. As you can see, my face is kind of shiny. But, um... Oh, hold on. I see it. Okay. So, um... This is my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Um, it has SPF 20. It's um, really light, so I didn't really need much foundation today. I just put on more, some more moisturizer with this. And then I'm in the color Mocha. Um, I think it was supposed to be Walnut, but... I don't know. It's a little darker, but I like it. It's okay. Um, and then Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. And I'm just going to use that with my MAC Kabuki. And... And I just do it all over really quick because I don't really need too much. I just don't want to be shiny. See, it kind of makes me more matte. I was really kind of glowy a second ago. And put that away. And then I'm going to contour a little bit with my um, Warm Light Definitive Sculpt and Shape Powder. Let me grab my mirror. Okay. And I'm going to use my. MAC 165, which is just like a egg-shaped Sigma, has a brush at the same time, and then take the dark color, and go like this. And I'm going to start from here, and work down. But I like to buff mine this way too, because I don't want it to seem like just chiseled, so. You see? And it makes my face more uh, distinct. And then I'll also do this bottom part, and like right here, so it just makes my face look perfect. So the camera's memory decided to um, fill up, so let me just readjust and continue. So it died right as I was doing it, so I haven't finished. And then um, let me readjust my lighting a little bit. So, and see now my face is a little bit more sculpted and shapely compared to this side where it still looks really round. So, move my mirror. I just bend it back and then my bangs kind of cover it so I don't do this side as much as I do this side because everybody can see that side. But I do do my chin because I have a little bit of roundness. Like that. Um, I'm not, I guess I could highlight a little bit but I'm not going to use this one because it's too orangey to me. So I'm going to grab it soft and gentle. Middle my skin finish, which is this one. And I'm just going to take my MAC 130 and go right above here and buff it down like that. So, you can see it that way. And I take it a little bit above my brow. Since I have a round face, I do it diagonal instead of going in a circle. If you have a more square face, um, I believe you go more rounded so you don't have such a square face. But 
this is how I do it. So just when I turn, it'll be like that, see? And that's that. Um, I don't, what brush should I use? Hmm. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna go with Cargo. And let's see. I don't really want shimmer because I have a glow already. So, sorry, I dropped it. I'm going to use Key Largo, I think it is. Yeah. Key Largo, which is a nice um, pinky peach coral color. It's way brighter than it's showing on camera. It's showing like orange. It's like a really pinky color. Sorry, I can't, and it's not really coming off on the camera, right? So, I'm, this is really pigmented, so I'm just going to drop, do a little bit. And do it in between my highlight and my contour like that. Let's move this light. Let's see if you can see it. There you go. See? There we go. And I just do a little in between my contour and highlight. Just bring them together like that. Oh, you can see it on the side when I turn. There we go. I'm going to look sexy for my date. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, okay, so that's that. And I haven't put anything on my lips yet. So let me put... Let's see. What can we put on our lips today? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. Uh, I think I'm going to go with a nude color. This is Innocence Beware from the Venomous Villains and it's Cruella de Vil. So I'm just going to put that right on. And it's nice nude just to tone down the pink in my lips but just kind of contrasting with the um like that. Wow it shows really nude on camera but it's not especially since it's a cream sheen. Let's see if I move the light if it changes. There we go. That's more like it. And I don't swipe because you seem to put more product on when you do that. And I don't want to look like chocolates. But it's cream sheen. And that's how I like it. That's how I like it. Um, I guess that's all for my face of the day. But um, on my eyes, since I didn't do a tutorial on it yet, I used Milani. Oh, that one's been depotted. Um... It is called Silver Bullet on my lids, like this. Let's show you it. This is Silver Bullet on the end. I just um, I did Urban Decay first, my primer potion. And I put it all over, and then I blended it over about this far. And then I took Smut by Mac. Hold on, grab my palette. Bring some of that back which is this color right here and I put it on the outside and blended it in and then I used brulee which is right here which is a nice cream color for my highlight and then for my liner on the bottom lash line I used Urban Decay 24-7 um, liner in zero and on my top water top lash line sorry I used the elf waterproof pen liner so that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed. Love you guys. Bye.